This is the Body Armor Vent Eyes, the new and improved system that will be the next staple to your play gear and backpacks around the world. Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is David Lee and I'm Asian with hat. And I'm Tony known as Whisper with Ace and Eights. All right, so it has been a year since we reviewed the original Body Armor Vent Kit. And uh, we have a new version to actually talk about uh, that improves a lot of things compared to the old version. This is the Body Armor Vent Ice. Um, Tony, we've both been using it for uh, about half a year now since yeah, SHOT since, Show. Exactly, since SHOT Show is when we got them. All right. Uh, we got to test them. What do you think of the design? The design is, is great. It's, you know, it's just like the old one. Mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing about this one is now no longer have a pump. Right. Uh, it's thicker. Mm -hmm. So this one here, guys, total thickness is quarter inch. We're now with this, we're at three eighths of an inch, which means more airflow. Yep. And what does that mean to you, David, when you got more airflow? A lot cooler body. Correct. Keeping that body cool. It's the whole thing is we're not trying to stop you from sweating. We're trying to create new sweat. Mm -hmm. And the old sweat is what gives you the bumps, the rashes, and the smell. Right. Now this is still a good kit to use, but we do think that this is actually what is going to be the new standard or a staple to your play gear. Tony, how much does your play gear weigh? Uh, with fully loaded and everything, I'm probably about 35 pounds. 35 pounds. Yes, with the plates, seven mags, radio and everything that I carry on, the goodies, the your lickies bladder. and chewies. Yep, look, like my lickies and chewies and all that, about 35 pounds. <laughs> lickies and chewies. Okay. And with these uh, with these sets in, does it add a lot more comfort than the previous one? Yes. Oh, yes. Like I said before, it's a little thicker, so I can feel it. It's, I didn't adjust my plate carrier, mm -hmm. so throwing it on there, it made it a little snugger, mm -hmm. but it was comfort. It wasn't like it was, you know, discomfort. I was very comfortable with it. It felt good. I could move. The kit didn't slip. Mm -hmm. It stayed nice and tight, which is what you want. So when you ran, which some of the drills we do, we run, it didn't bounce and all that. It was perfect. It was right. just... And do these kits feel like they're the definition of what I used to say before, pillows that breathe? Yes, de definitely. This is more of a pillow that breathes now. Mm -hmm. Just for the simple, as thick as it is now, I mean, it breathes really good. I mean, if you guys can look at it, it's hard to see, but look at the ridges there. They're like little bumps all over the place and the ridges in between. Yes, this is so much, breathes so much more than the other one. But the other one still is a good kit. I mean, don't, don't think it's not. This kit here is still awesome, guys. It still does the exact same thing. Still stops it from digging into your, the plates into your clavicle and all that. So don't think it's not. We're not, this is just the newer improved version, guys. The biggest reason that we wanted to have this kit, especially, is that we had a lot of people, Marines, Army guys, police, that would mention to us that the bulb was the biggest con to using the kit. They would lose it. That was the bad thing about it. Or they only got one where they want one in their squad car, one in their house, one in their locker. Mm -hmm. And what the Marine Corps was, they're afraid that Joe was going to lose it out, out in the field. And that is a big problem. In the six months I was able to test it, I was very impressed by the improvements. I use it on the Cry SBC, which has a lot of mesh, but no padding, which can cause the plate to constantly scrape against the clavicles or on your body. With the bath kit separating the plates off your person, it'll also help aid in preventing fatigue. My experience that I had with this recently was on the new set, I was just in the new set, we were at a I've taken it to the range and shot at the range. I've done some Nielsen events with it. And I was in Georgia at a high humidity game. It was raining and all that. My body was sweating profusely. I mean, it was going unbelievable. And due to the thickness now, the increased airflow, sweat evaporated a lot quicker. Kept my core temperature down, guys. Uh, my shirt had the little dots in here. It was dry, had little dots on the system. Because of that, it allows for a quicker uh, evaporation. I could definitely notice a difference in the comfortability in the, from the previous version. Tony, you do a lot more real, uh, real world stuff. Um, you also have some personal experience from back in the day. Correct. And then you also have experience from the old part. With these new ice kits, what do you think overall? Lately, when I've been going to the range, believe it or not, I'll stick one in the front and one in the back and I'll reverse it during the, the day. So I'm trying to notice a difference between both. The mm -hmm. pump up air one and our ice one. Mm -hmm. And I've definitely noticed a difference. And the only difference has been, guys, is the comfortability's there. The ice has a little more comfort and that's mm -hmm. only because it's a little thicker. And the air flows a little more with the ice because it's a little higher off the ground, so you get more airflow. I carry, this is what I use. It's a Mayflower? Mayflower is what I use when I'm at the range with plates and all that. I don't have the plates in there because it's too hard to lift up right now. I'll be there from sun up to sundown. My last one was just yesterday. Mm -hmm. We were there from eight o'clock in the morning 
till nine o'clock at night. So guys, I'm in it the whole time. I took it off twice, that mm -hmm. was it. The old days, I'd have took it off. Every time I stopped shooting, we stopped moving a drill, it was mm -hmm. coming off and I was going. So guys, did I sweat? Yes, and you're always gonna sweat. What we're trying to prevent, we're trying to do is give you new sweat. So when I got done, where I used to have like rashes in places, mm -hmm. I no longer have the rash. I see this new system as an easy add-on to your kit, guys. It could also change the real-world application in combat as well as milsim events. If you still like the old kit, you can get it. We still have that one available. For those that like to backpack, same benefits are there for your backpack. Kits, military, police, law enforcement, it's the way to go, guys. I see this kit as a paradigm shift in the tactical world. It's the first kit that functions and works just as easily and as conveniently as your typical add-on system. This is a really huge step forward in terms of bringing cooling and comfort to the everyday person. It's basically merging the two worlds of convenience and science that is seldomly seen in the tactical gear world with offering improved air, current, and comfort. Body Armor Event has cheaper alternatives to the retrofit kits, such as the version one. And I think that in a couple years, the tactical world and the civilian world will see this as a staple system to their gear. If you're looking for an incredible cooling system for your plate gear, look no further than this.